We don't, I don't see color at all. Period, point blank, period. I don't care what you is. You could be a monkey. I don't care. If you a good person, you treat me right, we good. I don't care. Division. Thank God. It's kind of sad. It's the first house that me and my husband had together as a husband and wife. Oh my God. Look, y'all. That's my house. Oh my God. Y'all, I've been angry. I've been sad and angry and depressed. And So my husband is not coming home anytime soon. It'll probably be next year, unfortunately. What's up, E gang? It's your girl Ebony Elbow back to you with another Lady vlog. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby, because you're gonna like it. And welcome back to my OGs. So today is Saturday. I think it's the 26th. I'm up early. Unfortunately, I am headed to a funeral. Um, my one of my best friends, um, cousin. So I'm just going. I didn't know him, but my best friend is so supportive, and I'm just going to be supportive. Um, so I just have on. This, so I just have on this two piece set, y'all. This I'm still not done with the house, but we're gonna take a break to go to the funeral. It's just like um, I tucked in half the shirt. It's like really loose fitting. Um, I normally would tie this shirt, but because it's a funeral around and then it was appropriate. And y'all, I just got on like a little necklace and I uh, put my hair back. I got to take these braids out today. And these are the only shoes that I have here right now. So I got to wear these, but anything goes with black. So yeah, I'm about to head out the door. I'll talk to y'all in the car and of course give y'all an update on hubby. Okay, y'all, I'm in the car. I decided to take my hair down. I thought it looked a little better this way. But anyway, I'm feeling good, smelling good. I got on a little Tom Ford. It smelled, I forgot how good this smelled. It smells so good. And I mixed it with a little Bath and Body Works. After I got out of the shower, I always spray my body with Bath and Body Works. But anyway, I'm headed to the funeral. It starts at 11. It says I'm gonna get there at 10.50, so that's good. Yeah, so yesterday, Friday the 25th, my husband did go to court. Um, he did get released from the state. Um, his lawyer, oh, y'all shaking. His lawyer did show up with um for him, Mr. Fallgatter, the big dog of the firm, showed up and um he got his time served. So yeah, he was waiting to be released all day. And I figured this was gonna happen because his court date was on a Friday. The feds did not pick him up yesterday, and to our knowledge, they do not work on the weekend. So, um, because he was on federal probation, he has to go through the feds first before he could come home. So, yeah, and he had gave all his commissary away because he just knew he was coming home yesterday. But I told him, it's just two more days. He was so upset, like he wanted to come home. But I had already mentally prepared myself because I figured that was going to happen. So, yeah, I was just like, baby, like, it's okay. Just trying to, like, calm him down. He did end up calming down by the end of the night. But, yeah. So, we're just glad. We're grateful. Thank you, God. Like, thank you, God. It's just amazing. Um, I hate we had to go through this situation, but I honestly feel like everything happens for a reason. I learned a lot. I became stronger, independent. He learned a lot. We saw who was for us. And yeah, it's a lot of people that I'm just not even fucking with no more. Granted, nobody's obligated to do anything for me. Nothing, 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 nothing. But the type of person I am, I'm just way too giving. I'm way too um, there for people. Like the smallest thing, I'm, I'm just there for people. Like you could go get your, you could go get your damn titties done, and I'm gonna be there. Like I'm gonna get you a new bra. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. You know what I mean? Like somebody die i'm there like so yeah so but like shout out to my true friends shout out to who his true friends shout out to my family my parents oh my god what i would have done without my parents so yeah y'all i'm headed into town i'm of course i'm not going to record at the funeral but i guess i'll talk to y'all after the funeral we're gonna finish getting this house together 
Um, I do have to work a little while today on my regular job. I got up early this morning, y'all, at like 6.30. Well, I got up at 5, but I left my house like 6.30 to get my morning buildings done So that, because I knew I wanted to go to this funeral. So I got that done, so I don't have any more buildings to do today. So yeah, that's good. So I can just focus. I'm going to work for like four hours, then finish doing house stuff. So I'll talk to y'all after the funeral. Okay, y'all, I just left the funeral and baby, that pastor, he preached. Oh my God, he preached like it just hit. It's so hot outside. I stopped um, and got me some soul food. They had a soul food restaurant like next door. And now y'all remember I was telling y'all about the $10 store? Well, I be like, you really got to take your time and look through the clothes. They got really cute outfits. Well, it's like $10.50 now since like inflation. But it's still really reasonable. So I'm about to go in here and see if I can find Lana Bell some more clothes before I head home. Because I was right here. Um, the time is now 109. I was on Wilson because Wilson Boulevard in Jacksonville, Florida, because that's where the story is, also if you're from Jacksonville. Um, my daughter called me and said someone stole her car. So I've been riding around, riding around because her girlfriend said she's seen somebody in the car. Like driving on the road that they stole it from. Which is crazy. People are wild. So I've been riding around trying to see if I could find her car. Because, yeah, like, I'm going to follow you <laughs> and call the police. But, yeah, that's crazy. And she has to go to work and stuff. I'm glad she's off this weekend. So, yeah, let me go on in the store. So this is it when you first walk in. I like this little jacket for my daughter. This is cute. And see, $10. It's a cute jacket. Everything isn't $10 though. Like some stuff is cheaper. Like these cute little crop tops is $7. So yeah. Like you just have to really take your time and know how to put pieces together. Look, I like this corset here. I wouldn't wear it like this. But that would be cute. This is the skirt, not my style. But that's kind of cute. I like that corset top under there. So, yeah, let me keep looking. It's not that I don't want you here. Yeah. It's not that I don't want you But anyway, um, I got two whole outfits for $26. They not, um, they not, um, they not don't go together, but you could say they're two whole outfits. So, I got my daughter some bell bottoms. They really, really cute. Uh-oh. They're cute, y'all. They cute and see what the simply it's called simply 10 what they do is they go buy stuff like i don't see stuff from like um forever 21 they go like like marshall's do you know how marshall's go buy stuff from like i guess these auction type places and they sell it for cheaper i just got my little like a plain white shirt she could wear this with those bell bottoms but i got this to wear with this um coach little thing we doing and then it's just a two-piece set like you can never go wrong with sets like these and this entire set was ten dollars for the whole set and it's just a black shirt and the bell bottoms so i'm about to get changed come up out these clothes do some work for a little while and then y'all gonna see me look the same because i'm doing two vlogs at one time i'm, I'm gonna finish doing an unpacking vlog 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 and then i'm gonna keep the pick the camera back up and finish my weekend vlog so yeah Good morning. Well, it's not morning. It's afternoon. I am headed to my husband's court date. Oh, let me make sure my address hit. On um, he so he was released from the um state jail this morning, and the feds picked him up. So we're headed to federal court, where nine times out of ten I will get to sign a bond, and he will be released. 
to my custody um so yeah i'm headed there now I need to put on my earrings um it should be really fast i'm on my lunch break so it should be really fast and yeah i'll call you back in a minute i can't take my care you can't even take your phone in there so i'll probably call y'all back when i get out so as y'all can see i've been crying so court did go good um he didn't get a bail um i got one more shot to get him a bail thursday so um his attorney i hired him for the state case so now i gotta go take him some more money for the federal case to try to get him a bail so yeah it's just one thing after another i'm just i'm just in the days like I did get to physically see him um, this time. Last time, court in the state, it's on a um, computer screen in the feds. I was literally like, he was here, I was here. And I got to talk to him. And um, I didn't get to touch him, but I got to see my baby. I ain't seen my baby in so long. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I hadn't seen him in so long, so I gotta see him. And um, I know it's hard for him. He was he was snappy and I couldn't even talk to him to tell him you gotta calm down, you gotta you know remain calm, like you need these people to do you a favor, like you can't, like you gotta calm down. So um yeah go back to court Thursday if the hurricane don't come um as of right now they said tomorrow and Wednesday the courthouse is closed due to it's supposed to be a hurricane coming to Jacksonville every time they say a hurricane gonna come it don't really come it, it come but it don't do nothing it be real we're, we're blessed we've been blessed to um not get a lot of damage because I mean wow I have like one of my husband's friends who's my friend now too uh, he was in Fort Myers they got hit bad. I mean, he was saying like they was like knee high in water in their home. So we've been blessed to not in Jacksonville not experience anything that bad. Um, you know, we've had some damage, but nothing catastrophic. You know. So I'm just headed back. I'm a little bit late for my lunch. Court was fast. Court was. It was on the two of them. My husband and somebody else. It was on the two of them. So court was fast. Um, I'm headed back clock back in from lunch I don't even know if I'm pick back up this camera today I'm just like out of it and if you I don't know if y'all been watching the news but in Jacksonville Florida there was like a um a mass um shooting uh um it was a racial it was a, a basically a, a racial situation a dude um came to kill black people came to kill the n words what he wrote in his manifesto um and that's what he did luckily he only was able to kill three people but i mean it's still i say luckily but y'all know what i mean like it was still heartbreaking and y'all the store that he did the shooting at is literally 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 across the street from my grandma house like like i can walk there i have walked there before i've walked there to go get my grandma some washing powder just to get steps in i've walked there to go get my grandma this or that or this detergent like i was when i went to go cut my grandma grass the other day i went to that store and i was just like thank god i wasn't there y'all like man this world this a crazy world we living in y'all like you can't who would ever thought they was going to dollar general not to come home like who would have thought that it's crazy it's it's crazy y'all i feel so bad for the families um and the, the and come to find out the dude's mother is a director at a hospital that i worked at for 10 years and me personally i feel like racism is a learned behavior nobody's born just hating black people or white people or any like in my house i always teach my kids we don't i don't see color at all period point blank period i don't care what you is you could be a monkey i don't care if you're a good person you treat me right we good i don't care about cut i don't 
I don't understand it. I feel like it's a learned behavior. I feel like he picked this up somewhere. I'm not gonna say she races, but he picked this up somewhere. So y'all, you know, that being weighing on my heart too, then today this with my husband. So y'all, we just, hmm. I'll call y'all back. Good morning, yeah, y'all. I had them. Y'all had my hair straight and I got in the shower this morning. I forgot to put the shower cap on. Y'all look at the house, it look up. It look a mess. I'm still trying to get like that other house cleaned out because I want my $3,000 back. But anyway, y'all, today is Friday. All my packages, I still haven't opened my stuff. I think these my um chairs from Wayfair. Yeah, those are my chairs from Wayfair. I got four of them. I don't know what this is. This Amazon stuff. And then, let's see. On my porch this morning. Yeah. So, I think this my set. Yep, this is my small sectional for the loft. Kids me sitting on the floor. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think this is um, my address. I think this is the um, bed that I had ordered for my daughter, which I do not need anymore. And I'm glad it's not heavy. I can send that back. Oh, yeah, let me bring this stuff inside. So, this one not that heavy. It's a little heavy. I wonder what um, FedEx do like a pickup. Oh, God, it's real heavy. A pickup at my door. I can take this back up there. Slide that there. And this couch. Oh, the couch is light, y'all. Oh. Oh. <sighs> All right, y'all. I just, I'm pulling up out my old house. I don't care if y'all see now. Nah, I used to be trying to hide. It, but y'all can see because I don't live here no more. I just came back to put the rest of the stuff out for garbage and I sold my desk on the marketplace. I sold it for 60. Now I sold so much stuff on the marketplace and the people they really they be cheap, but it gets sold like within so most of the time the same day. But this was the I had that desk on the marketplace the longest. That took me like three days. But I want to show y'all how much stuff we got to the trash. And this is like our fourth trash dump. Look, y'all. So much stuff. So much stuff. Like, so much. But I think that's like the most of it. Sunday, my dad is gonna come and move my um washing dryer for me and rest of the big stuff. Cause I thought my husband's gonna be here to do it. And then we'll be go and then we're gonna come in and clean up. It's already clean. We just need to do the deep clean to get my money. Of course, you know, they're going to find something to keep something. But at least if I get $1,000 back, I'll be happy. Give me 15. Y'all take 15. I take three. Whatever. I mean, y'all take 15. I take 15. So, yeah, now I'm about to go. I got the trunk piled down with some stuff that I had needed to take from the house. And I need to stop by um, Beat Lots because the shower curtain that I had, it's not working. Like, it's not hanging right. So I need to stop by Beat Lots and get a new shower curtain. I want to get some command strips because I want to hang these pictures up before I put the sectional where it needs to go so that I don't have to step on it. And yeah, and get back home. It's just starting to rain. So yeah, um, trying to focus on the road. So I'll talk to y'all at Dollar General. Okay, I was going to go to Big Lots, but I was like, I think Ross has shower curtains too. And I want to look for like a soap dispenser and like a toothbrush holder for my bathroom. I have it for the kids' bathroom. So, I'm going to go in Ross. And then if I don't see it, Big Lots is literally like right next door over there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah, let's run in Ross. Let's see if I can find some cute pillows to go on that couch. You know, I think I have pillows. I don't know. I got something in mind and I had some that I ordered from Amazon I might use. So let's see what they have. I wanna do like gold accent. So I found these. It's pretty cute. It's only $7.99. I got two. One for me, one for my hubby, and then toothbrush holder. I'm trying to decide, do I need two or one? Yeah, he needs to stay on his side. 
Okay, I said they did not have a shower rod in Ross, so I came over to Big Lots to look for one. And just see what I see around here. My total at Ross was $57.92, and I made $60, so that was perfect. Not spending extra. Okay, y'all, it's a little later in the day. I picked Kaden up from school. We're about to go get Cam from daycare. And then I have to run to a friend of mine. Her father died, so I'm going to run in and so support and stop at the wait. I'm going to stop and get her some flowers as well. And then just stop by the wait for a couple hours. We having like a, I won't say a family reunion, but we having a family gathering in my mom's house tomorrow. Kind of like a family reunion, but it's just in-house. So, um... Yeah, uh-oh. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing it. Y'all, I'm going to take y'all with it tomorrow. But I wanted to go ahead and update y'all on my husband. So, as y'all can see, he's not here. Um, So, he had a bail hearing with the with the um feds. And he was denied bail twice. Um, So, he will not be home anytime soon. They are really... Y'all, let me tell y'all about his probation officer. She is a piece of... Like, she played in my face. She acted like she was going to help me. Like, she was concerned. with woo, woo, woo. Y'all, do y'all know she is the one that's pushing? She was the one that pushed for him not to be released. And she's the one that is asking the judge to send him back to prison. If you ask me, we, her and I have had run in before. Like, I have gotten into it with her because I, I have told her, baby, I'm not on probation. He is. You can't talk to me any kind of way. And I really think she's racist. Um, I know she, there's another, um guy that I know that's on probation and she um he's he's a Caucasian guy and she does not give him near as much trouble as she gives my husband and like she's always hard on him like she always like we can never try it's like always something with her I really feel like she's racist and for her y'all and then she took private information that her and I've discussed and used it against my husband um, in court about my son being ill so yeah to try to hurt my husband like my husband is some type of killer or something or a menace to society or some type of flight risk so I was sad but y'all I'm coming to grips with it and I'm just I'm just like it's only so much I could do so you know I'm just coming to grips with everything and this is what I got to be strong. Like my husband keeps telling me, be strong. Like you got to be strong. I got to hold the fort down. I got to make sure he come home to a business, a home, everything. That, like I got to be on my Keisha K or Keisha K or in Gucci. My husband won't be here for a long time, at least six months. So, and I'm hoping that's it. I'm hoping the six months is the most, you know, and I'm just hoping it fly by. So by the time he go back to court, he'll be done did two months. And then hopefully he can do like two months in the federal penitentiary and then he can do the rest in the halfway house. And in the halfway house, I don't know what's going on because COVID starting to spike back up, but used to be back in the halfway house, he could come out and work for me because I always, you know, I had a business. So, um, and it is a legit job, so he could come work for me. So, y'all did want to tell y'all that. So, these new vlogs gonna be living alone. <laughs> living alone a living single i don't know what you call it living alone diaries because yeah i'm doing this by myself y'all this is so new to me like i need to really sit down and write out my budget my bills everything just to make sure i'm i'm on track i don't want my kids to feel nothing i don't want anything to change about my kids life besides they miss they miss boo we all miss boo so yeah it is what it is y'all um, I know I can't take y'all with me to go see him when I ever I do get to see him, but y'all can go on the road with me. I just can't take y'all in there. And hopefully, they, they, they like right now a part of where he's at, a part of the place is locked down on quarantine because of COVID. So I see COVID rates are starting to go back up. So I just pray that I don't know. Whatever happens, it's gonna happen. I've come to terms with it, and I just gotta deal with it. But I'm at Cameron's daycare, so I'll call y'all back in a minute. All right, so I'm in Wendy. They got music playing, but they got all kind of pretty flowers. I'm trying to see which ones I'm going to get her. Got some in the freezer, too, with vases, so I might get these because they already in, like, a vase. So I got some flowers. I got these hydrangeas because they had, like, blue in it. I thought that was so pretty. I wanted to do, like, a 
color for a man because it was her father. So, and I like how full it is. And it came in a vase. And it got like a little bow on the front. Can y'all see? A little bow. So, yeah. I'm about to head to this um, funeral home. So unfortunate. Like, I hate death. I know it's inevitable, but I hate death. So, I want to show her a little love. Love on her a little bit. And, yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, I just left out of, um doing the um repast she was so happy to see me she loved the flowers of course i didn't record that was like a private moment now i'm up here at AutoZone trying to get my check engine light changed this is like what i gotta deal with with my husband being gone so yeah good morning y'all it is saturday um i'm just running i got up really early this morning to clean my building like seven o'clock so that I can um be on time. My mom needs me there at twelve. It's nine twenty-five. I get home by ten. Twelve. Yeah. Cook this macaroni real quick. Do my hair and head on out to my we having like a family reunion or whatever. Hold on, let me pump some gas real quick, y'all. Hold on. So yeah, y'all, we um trying to get ready for this family reunion. Um, I just went in Walmart, I had to grab a couple things for my mom, and I was like, well, let me go ahead and grab the kids stuff for school, cause both of them take lunch, Katie and Cam. Y'all, I'm just really tired of spending money. It was like a hundred dollars just for this little bit of stuff. Um, and then y'all know I had to pay rent in three places: my shop, my new house, and then my lease is up on September seventh. So I had to pay, it was like right at $700 prorated for um, seven days. Seven days. So yeah, at this point, your girl is, I'm definitely doing Uber tonight. I don't care how tired I am when I leave my mom's house. I leave the party. I'm glad it starts early. We should be done by like seven. I have a building to clean over there by her like done as far as like cleaning up and everything by seven. I have a building to clean over there by her and that'll take me, that building is small, take me like 20 minutes, get my kids home, bathe with my daughter and then I'm gonna do Uber to probably like three o'clock in the morning or something, like try to make a quick $200. So yeah, I guess I'll talk to y'all when I get back to the house. I'm glad gas did drop, it's 329 today. So that's good, I gotta do my hair real quick too and cook this macaroni. I did my son hair last night, so I ain't gotta do his hair today. And yeah, head on that. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, I am back to the house and I'm about to, I got the water on to cook the macaroni. Got my noodles and stuff. These just some of the um, Lunchables I bought the boys and chips and stuff. So, yeah, I'm putting this stuff up, get this macaroni going. This is my seat, y'all. Y'all think I'm like, I still haven't unpacked. So this is my seasonings. I need to, I need seasoning to, um, to cook this uh, macaroni, so I need to open this box and get my seasoning out. Yeah, y'all, it's just it's been life, been life, and like I have not been able to. I can't. I'm trying to get myself together. I can't even get myself together. You know. <laughs> Hey. 
but I had to go for y'all. This is my new pan, it's a non stick, so I want to melt my cheese down in here. Noodles boiler, I had to go find everything, y'all. I had to tear boxes open just to get these. Like, it's a mess, y'all. I gotta get my I gotta get my life together, but yeah, I'm just cooking this macaroni. So, yeah. camera i don't know i didn't even have time to do my hair but i just put back on this wig and i just put on this headband because i don't feel like dealing with it yeah, it don't really match but hell it's versace so i think it's versace. yeah i think it's versace anyway i just got on this fashion nova dress um i show it to y'all and i put on red shoes to kind of go with the headband i guess Anyway, I'm on the way. Hopefully, I got my camera in the trunk. But yeah, I'm on the way there. I'm at my mom's house and they got everything. They got, so she had the ribs and chicken catered. So these are all ribs. They got chicken. And then I just cut up all the stuff to go in my crab pot. We got oranges, uh, onions, lemons, yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper celery i didn't do mushroom i normally would do mushroom but i don't know like i know in my house we don't have a mushroom allergy but i don't know if anybody coming will have a mushroom allergy so yeah we just about to finish getting everything set up we had crab we had chicken we had i should have got y'all a video earlier they about gone now The host, the cook, say hello, Dad. Okay, <laughs> the host. <laughs> hey, 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 What's up, E gang? Your girl look a mess. These braids out. My little hair growing, y'all. I literally was bald, bald. And this shrinkage is real because I took my braids out. Anyway, I know this vlog all over the place. It's so spaced out, dazed. Y'all know how it is when you move in. Like, it been hard. But I just left the um daughter with the boys. Hey Kim said, hey. They had an um, appointment today. And they're, they're um... Doctor is right by the Jacksonville, I mean the St. John's Town Center. So I'm about to run in Ross. And then Cam like says subscribe and hit the like button. And then they have a, a um, Marshalls on the same little strip. So I want to run in Marshalls. And then y'all, we headed back to the old house. Today is the last day. Well, we have a walkthrough in the morning, but today is the last, like I'm over it. At this point, baby, keep the deposit. Just keep it. I was going to do all this, like, hardcore, heavy-duty cleaning. And this lady, she told me, she was like, don't do that because they still going to charge you a cleaning fee. Get the stuff out. Patch the holes in the wall. Paint whatever, you know. Just do stuff like that. But don't worry about cleaning the whole house up and down because they're still going to put, put pay cleaners to come in and they're going to charge you. Okay. Save me time, agony, and money. Y'all, I'm so tired of this house. I done spent so much money because it's just me. I've never had to move without my husband. And I've been paying people to help me, like, take the TV. I didn't know how to take the TVs off the wall, the brackets and stuff. They had to have a drip. I didn't know how to do none of that. Take the boys' beds down, um, patch the holes, paint. I mean, I know how to do that, but I paid somebody to do that for me. So today, I was supposed to have one more help, and I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. I'm about to. Anyway, I'm rambling. Today, the last day, we're going to be at the house. But let's go on on it, Ross. So far, I just found some shirts for the boys. Like this. And I'm looking at their pictures and stuff. They don't really have a big selection today. 
I no artwork yet, but I do know I want like a little tray to put like um the soap and the toothbrush holder on, like something cute. Cause when I just set it on the sink, it wasn't cute. So I want something, something to dress it up a little bit. Looking around. Remember, I needed that new shower rod. He goes this thirty one for eleven ninety nine. I'm looking for something like this, but with gold. Hmm. All right, I got that stuff out of um, Ross. Hey, I'm headed in Marshalls. Let's see what they have. This is a really cute pants set, the shirt. And a wide leg pants, that is so cute. y'all this is so perfect but they only have one i literally need to find two. Oh my god all right y'all i'm at my old house it's kind of sad it's my last time walking in here it's cleaned out this is it y'all everything gone it's kind of sad it's the first house that me and my husband had together as a husband and wife Everything cleaned out. It's just a, it's a sad day. This is why I made my videos. Just gotta finish getting this little bit of stuff up. Yeah, so I'm really, it's sad and it's like, um, it's bittersweet. I'm glad that it's over. I'm tired of going back and forth. I'm tired of going between both houses and now I, I could just focus on my house that I live in now. But it's also sad because like my husband is not here. So it's sad. Like we found this house together and he got it for me and we walked in the door together and we can't walk out the door together. So. It's sad. It's sad. It, it, it's bittersweet. Um, but yeah, this is it, y'all. I don't think I ever showed y'all the front. I could show y'all the front now because I'm not living here no more. That was the stairs, and it had like a landing up there. It has a, a two, um, oh, y'all seen the video, but it had like a two-story foyer. Can y'all see? Oh, yeah, let me show y'all the outside, and I can show y'all the neighborhood now, too. So, yeah. Um, this was the porch, and this is the front of the house, y'all. Let's see, got some trash bags out here. But this was the front, it's a pretty house, and this is my neighborhood, y'all. This was my subdivision, I lived in a circle, so this was it. This was my subdivision, so yeah. It's over. This is it. It's the last day. That's the last little bit of trash we had. But this is it. Ells, Oliver Ellsworth Court. It's over. New beginnings. All right, y'all. We are pulling off. That is it. We're pulling off. Oh, so bittersweet. I got to come back and get my husband car. But yeah, um, I did a Walmart order online, so I gotta do a Walmart pickup. And it's six, it's early, it's 6.46, so I'm glad because my son been falling asleep in school and he need, I need them home. We're gonna be at home, this is the first night we're gonna get home on time. They gonna be in bed by eight o'clock. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna try to, um, 
do some stuff tonight definitely edit this video thank y'all to all my new supporters y'all like oh my god my subscriber count just won't he do it it just jumped up y'all it just jumped up y'all we got a lot to talk about too because y'all i done kind of lost my faith again and i ain't gonna lie i done lost my faith again but we're gonna talk about that i don't know if it's this video or the next thing i'm just kind of emotional today i just hung up with my husband it's kind of emotional um so yeah basically like um we'll talk about it i need to let y'all know the newest with that but yeah i'm about to get me a full loco before i um pull up to walmart yes i drink full loco i do and i will put it in a um i will put my full loco in a wine glass i sure do i'm about to go get me a full loco y'all i don't know why i'm doing this to myself but I'm about to ride by my house <laughs> that I was having built. I was supposed to go to closing in like 10 days. I just want to see it. Like, oh, I look a mess. I feel a mess. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I know it's just going to make me even more upset, but I just want to see it. I want to see, like, what the. I don't know. I just want to see it. They didn't have any more for loco in um the store. I went to Family Dollar. I be getting it from Family Dollar, but they had this Seagram's Jamaican Me Happy. It's only eight percent alcohol. For loco is thirteen point nine. That's what I need a thirteen point nine. But y'all, let's see how the house look. Then go up there, y'all. I guess they slowed down when I backed out because the house was supposed to be done. Like, they were moving so fast. But it's this one right here. I can show y'all the street now because it ain't mine. They didn't put a stone on yet. Yeah, they definitely slowed down. Oh my God, look at it, y'all. Let me see if the door open. So yeah, they slowed down. I guess when you cancel. Mm -mm, it's so pretty y'all it was gonna be white look at my garage i bet this door is locked because they pro oh the carpet's in because it's probably locked oh my god it's open <gasps> oh my god look y'all this is my house oh my god this was my office y'all oh my god y'all i'm finna cry this was my stairwell and they still gotta paint it i'm literally finna cry this is my bathroom. Oh, wow. Garage, ain't nothing to see. Wow. Living room. Oh my God, look at my kitchen, y'all. Oh my God. Why did I do this to myself? Why? Huge kitchen, so much counter space. So much. I hope y'all can see that patio. I guess they resold it. That's a new sold sign. Oh my God. Wow, ceiling fan. Wow, wow, wow. This is my house. Wow. Let's go upstairs, y'all. Oh my God, why did I do this to myself? No, nah, I'm really crying. Oh, this is the loft. And then the loft had like an open bookshelf. Y'all, excuse me, I'm so emotional because I worked so hard to get this house. <laughs> it's my bedroom. I had a nice view. And closet, the closet is huge, y'all. This is the bathroom. Bathroom's okay. It's kind of basic. Shower's definitely basic. Oh my God. I'm trying not to. I ain't crazy about that bathroom. Oh Lord. 
You need to be crazy about everything for three thousand dollars a month. No, thirty one hundred dollars a month. Um, kids' bathroom, y'all can't really see. Bedroom, they had huge bedrooms. Bedroom, laundry room. Y'all, I don't know why I did this to myself because, like, I'm literally crying. But sometimes you just got to trust God. Like, y'all, I've been angry. I've been sad and angry and depressed and just fighting the emotions. And even though I'm grateful that me and my kids do have somewhere to stay and it's nice, it's still, I just work so hard and I have lost thousands of dollars y'all like thousands like i ain't talking just twenty thousand. i have lost so much <sighs> okay y'all i had to start recording because i was like so upset but i'm okay now i cried my tears it was emotional but even though I'm kind of, I got beef with God right now. Like, I got major beef with God right now. I'm still going to say that everything happened for a reason. Um, A lot of things, like, I didn't like, like, that LVP flooring. I didn't like that, um, the kind they used. Um, the master bathroom was not wow. So, some things, it's kind of like, okay, maybe God saved me because I'm going into, the payment was like $31.50. And I should be wild about literally everything. So, you know, I'm trying to look at the bright side. Um, Me moving out this huge house, and this house is bigger. Y'all, when I was packing up this house, I kept saying, I don't ever want to live in a house this big no more. Y'all, it took me forever. And, of course, it took me longer because my husband wasn't with me. But even with my husband's friend help, my husband's friend been with me every day. And, you know, I was paying him, but, y'all, it that was a lot of stuff. So, you know, I'm just trying to accept that everything happened for a reason. And, I don't know. I don't know why I have to go through so much, but if not me, then who, you know? So, God chose this life for me, and I just got to roll with it. And what don't kill you, make you stronger. And this situation have definitely made me stronger. Like I, like I said before, I have learned independence. I have learned my strength. I have learned to be dependent on myself, you know, my husband. You know, y'all always work this stuff, but y'all know, like, your husband, most most households, your husbands be the breadwinner and, or whatever. So, you know, I'm holding it down. I'm doing whatever. So, anyway, it's all good. I wasn't just stuck on crazy by the house. When it's my turn, and y'all, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I want a house built anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm, like, this townhouse is perfect. Um, and if I, if ever I did get something like, I mean, Jacksonville don't have that many like high rises, like condominium high rises. I think I want something more like that. That's just me at the point of the, the point I'm in in life right now. I like something more like a high rise or really luxury like condo. So I think that might be what I do next. Um, I've had two houses built from the ground up. Every house that I have owned were built from the ground up. So, it's kind of like been there, done that, and baby, wipe your tears, and three years from now, maybe even a year from now, I'm going to look back at this and see why God blocked it. Anyway, let's go pick up this stuff from Walmart. Okay, y'all, it's later. I done took a bath. Yeah, I put back on this hat because I'm not going to let y'all see my hair. It's crazy. But anyway, I finally have my washer and dryer here. So, I wash clothes, but I forgot I don't have this thing on. So, I had to go buy some zip ties from Home Depot. So, I got the zip ties in the car. I need to go get them. But, y'all, I'm so ashamed. Let me show y'all my house. Look, y'all. This is how we living. Still out of boxes. All my new furniture I have 
bar stools, dining chairs. This is a sofa sectional. That's a bed. Like, yeah. This is how we live in. Like, yeah. This is everything. Y'all, it's just been so hard trying to like. I'm so glad to be done with that other house. Like, literally. So I hope I can do this because I always have a hard time. Okay, so these are the little zip ties. It's a 20 count. I don't need that many, but I say we never know when I'm gonna need them again. So I'm about to try to put these on. Cause I need to dry my clothes before they go sour. And then I think I'm about to order. The kids are in bed, y'all. I had the kids in bed and bathed on time. So I feel good about that. But I need to go, um, sorry for the lighting, y'all. I need to go. It's okay, so here's the washing and dryer set up. So yeah, it's just, I washed clothes earlier, so that's just there. I'm gonna order me some food. When I'm depressed, I just wanna eat, y'all. I just wanna eat. So yeah, I'm a little depressed today. It's just, I'm getting emotional not having my husband. But anyway, let's try to put these on. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular Tell me would you Well baby I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl So y'all, I am at um I'm at Wayne Stop. Can't even get some food. When I'm depressed, I just want to eat. I didn't eat with the kids. Of course, the kids already ate them. I didn't eat with them. Um, mm. but yeah, I wanted to talk to y'all. The kids are out of the car, so my husband is not coming home anytime soon. It'll probably be next year, unfortunately. Um, remember I told y'all I felt like his probation officer was going to help. She didn't. When we got to court, y'all, she completely crossed me. Like, oh my God, she completely crossed me and she is gun hoing for my husband to go back to prison for his violation. So it looks like he's going to do probably about six or seven months. So yeah, um... That's what I've been dealing with, y'all. Um, he didn't get bail. He didn't get to come home. He's done with his state case. The state case is over. Now he's just dealing with the violation of probation. Um, so yeah. It's like it is what it is. Um, I've cried. I can't cry no more. I just gotta keep, you know, I gotta keep going, you know, like my kids need me. I need to be strong. Yeah, my husband. Y'all probably won't see him until next year. It's going to be a lonely Christmas, a lonely Thanksgiving. 
y'all already know like the people who know me who been here for a while christmas was me and my sister's thing so she's she died and now my husband won't be here either come on lord let me get a break so yeah i'm about to um go in here and um get my wing stop and yeah i thought i just seen somebody i know but yeah i'm finna get my food and I'm probably in this vlog here. I don't know how long it is, y'all. But this weekend, we put, we getting that house together. We putting up that furniture. We getting that house together. We doing everything we need to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. I love y'all, E-Gang.